You know, I wouldn't say that Sackett's Harbor is a big fishing area or anything. You know, really, it's probably more commercial, more uh, pleasure boating than anything. But with that being said, the 2022 Bassmasters was won right here in Sackett's Harbor. There's two boat launches that you can launch from. One of them is right downtown Sackett's next to the gazebo. That's a free launch. Um, parking is great during the week or in the mornings, but on the weekends and at the evening hours, it gets really tight over there for parking. Your other option is going to be Westcott Beach State Park. It's going to cost you $10 to launch there. That's where I'm coming out of today, and I'm going to head right over to Port Simon. just a great place to start here in Sackett's Harbor uh, you know there's really there's two main lake points coming into Black River Bay and that's going to be Horse Island and Everly Point and that's where that guy won the Bassmasters he was going back and forth to each point and he he ended up pulling a hundred and two pounds of smallmouth out of here in four days one thing I want to mention about the smallmouth up here is be patient with them. Um, they're tough as nails, they never stop fighting. Uh, you end up losing night losing nice fish because we get impatient and try to horse them in. <sighs> yeah, it's a nice one man. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. That's a nice, that's a 5'2". He's probably, he's probably 19 inches. You can fish all around Horse Island. Um, but really there's two main hot spots. So first one's going to be on the main channel. Uh, that main channel side of Horse Island, you got a nice ledge there. It'll drop right down to about 60 feet there, but you got a, you got a top shelf. Or you get up cl close towards the island there, it's, you're going to go from like 15 all the way up to probably 5 feet. You could throw a jerk bait, swim bait up on there, but a lot of people fish those ledges. You can fish multiple depths right there. Um, that's one hot spot. And then the other one is going to be on the lake side flat. There's a flat on the lake side of Horse Island. You could throw a spinner, a swim, and a jerk bait through there. Um, there's usually something there. Don't forget you're on Lake Ontario. Uh, you know, we hear Sackett's Harbor, we think we're in a little harbor area, nice, safe, and protected, but we're on Lake Ontario. And uh, as you can see, the winds can flip on you pretty quick. So I wanted to mention, there's another area that I wouldn't waste my time with, and that's on the Sackett's Harbor shoreline of the Black River Bay. There's a, there's a spot there called the Oil Docks, and there's a trench. Everybody always hits it. And it takes you quite a while to fish it. I wouldn't waste my time there. I haven't ever done very well there. Oh, this is a good 
good one right here. Nice one. Look at that fucker. <laughs> You're gonna look at your Navionics and think about running way up into Black River Bay. That's another one. That's probably a four. Four, four, five. Don't waste your time going back there. There's a lot of hidden sandbars. It gets really shallow. There are some reeds and some cattails back there. You might find a couple largemouth, but it's really not worth the trip. The prevailing wind here is going to be a south-southwest. So it blows right across Lake Ontario and it ends up coming to us. Uh, and uh, so, a, so a 10 mile an hour wind can be brutal here. It ends right here in Sackets Harbor. a couple of shoals right outside of Westcott Beach. Uh, you'll see them on your Navionics. They're worth, they're worth checking out. Now he is only 18 inches. That's four pounder, man. It's a nice fish right there. on one of those shoals by Bedford Creek. And uh, it's more like a flat. You know, there's some isolated boulders on here and it can, it can be pretty decent. Yeah. Not bad. One thing to take note of about Sackett's Harbor is a great place to eat. You pull right and go into a Black River Bay, you'll find something called the Navy Point. Pull right in there, there's some uh, public docking, and the restaurants are great. They're only about 100 yards from the, from the docks. Three and a half pounder. Decent one. That's a nice, nice one here for seconds. Are you somebody who's uncomfortable going to church? Maybe you get anxious around other people and you don't like being in a setting that you're not familiar with. Well, I'd like to invite you to check out my church's YouTube channel. It's called Smithville Baptist Church, and we're out of Smithville, New York. We have these videos that are anywhere from three minutes to about seven minutes long. They just give you something to think about for the day. You can learn things about the fundamentals of salvation, or you can get into the deep things of a covenant. There's a video here right at the end. Why don't you click on it and check it out? <laughs>